Shoreline Housing Partnership and a number of other local agencies have got involved down here in Guildford Street and this is part of our work to help uh, long-term unemployed people living in shoreline neighbourhoods. Um, so we are working with the local authority, with uh, SART, CPO Media, the Respect Fund House on Nunstorpe and those agencies help us to support long-term unemployed people to overcome a number of barriers. We provide them a work stream and you've seen here the property at Guildford Street so those guys have refurbished the property up to uh, a government approved standard. The skills that they've learned coupled with the uh, confidence that they've built, the fact that they can get up on time now, they've got those sort of employable skills now that employers out there are looking for. The Change Programme um, has brought together a framework of different providers and what we're asking them to do is work together and focus on the individual organisation's strengths rather than funding big projects that in some instances duplicate what's already there. We're asking organisations to do what they already do well but do it in a slightly different way with extra funding we're providing. CPO were involved as part of a consortium led, led by Shoreline Housing Partnership uh, largely because we've had experience of this type of work before. Uh, we've worked uh, with a number of people from areas of deprivation in North East Lincolnshire which is where most of the trainees were drawn from. So it was really our experience of working with people who had disadvantages, who needed employment skills and also being used to working with people in an office environment who perhaps traditionally hadn't worked in this kind of environment before. Before this course started I was just at home, you know, spending my days doing nothing. Um, but I, I see an, an advert in the paper for this course, so I thought I'd go for it. And with you know luck must have it, I got it. And uh, since then I've learnt so many skills, which could put me on to forward, you know, to further work and build an industry. We taught and bricklay. Well, I taught them bricklaying, joinery skills, general operative skills, plastering. We also had a chance to work with the plumber, the electrician, so they got a general understanding of the building trade to see whichever they wanted to go into, which specialist area they needed to go into or wished to go into. On this project we've been doing carpentry and joinery, brickwork, painting and decorating, kitchen fitting, um, wallpapering, but I have mainly been doing brickwork because that's a uh, the line that I'd want to get into. Every, mainly everything through construction, uh, kitchen fitting, joinery, brick laying, plastering, decorating, a lot of scraping. <laughs> as well as the construction there was CPO media, uh, learning all different skill, you know, media st studies. The trainees gained two things primarily from coming to CPO media. Firstly was white collar office work experience which was, if you like, uh, a contrast to the kind of work they were doing on the building site with, with Shoreline Housing Partnership. So general office skills, the kind of thing that you would do uh, perhaps as a junior in any office, admin uh, and tasks like that. But the second thing that they gained was what we would call employment soft skills. So the kind of things that you need to get back to work. Um, for example, building up your CV, interview skills, confidence building, um, enhanced job search, people looking for jobs which suited their needs. We went to CPO Media every Monday to do um, basic computer skills. And once a month we, we, did a, we did an interview. We had to find out if they come on the computer, get, get all the information and then we, we had to do it all in the interview and as well as CV building as well. The young people involved in the Building Skills for Life project actually got the opportunity to hand over the keys to the new tenants of the property they've been working on. It was a great way for them to celebrate their achievement to actually see the impact of all their hard work. We all came down today to give them flowers and a little pamper bag to welcome, in, welcome them in the new home. The project has been very successful. The young people involved have developed a range of skills that's now helping them access real work opportunities. Yeah, I think the Building Skills for Life scheme uh, clearly identified a need and, and the reason I can say that confidently is that uh, through our contacts with the Grimsby Telegraph uh, we were able to publicise the course uh, and to get some you know, fantastic copy um, in the newspaper, front page coverage, uh, as a result of which uh, we were absolutely inundated with applications to come on the course. Um, the demand was far 
greater than anything that we could supply. And in many ways, I suppose that highlighted right at the very beginning of the pilot that there was not only a need for a pilot, but there was going to be a need uh, for a much more sustained and a, uh, a longer lasting course uh, towards the end of the pilot. Um, I would just reiterate that I'm absolutely convinced that that demand is still there. Uh, there are um, systems in place uh, by which uh, the Shoreline Housing Partnership led consortia, the Building Skills Fund consortia, could roll this out on a much greater scale. And we're just waiting for the green light, really. Building Skills for Life is just one of the ongoing pilot projects we're running. We've got about six live at the moment, along with two larger grant-funded projects, and it's an ongoing round. At the moment, we've invested well over £300,000 in testing new ways of working. We're collecting learning from that. These approaches will work with over 250 people over the next year. It's a great project for any person to get into. Um, they, the project itself will teach you a lot about life. I'm open to get an apprenticeship, so when I've left here then I'm open to everything I've learnt here is going to help me for the rest of my life, so yeah, enjoyed it. They're the best people that have helped me over the years and I couldn't thank them enough for what they've done.